Okay, so we start off with the letter Alif, the first letter. You start from top and work your way down to the bottom. It's just a line. So that's, that's quite straightforward. Now the Alif is probably the hardest letter to learn because it's actually accompanied usually with Hamza. Now this Hamza is usually written in this way. And there's another type of Hamza as well which is something like this. We'll talk about this later on inshallah. So just for now just think of the alif as just a line. When these get attached to it, this letter is then not termed alif. It's called a hamza. So this is a very powerful letter, which converts the alif to a hamza. And we'll talk about this later on, inshallah. Now, with the alif, how is it written in the beginning of a word, in the middle and the end? So in the beginning of a word, it's actually written as we wrote it there. So it's just, that's, that's how it's written. In the middle of a word, so for example, let's say there's a word before it, and it's coming across. To write the alif, all we do is just raise it up like this. If this is in the middle of the word, there'll be a letter coming after it. Now this letter coming after it won't join to the alif. So let's for example say it was a bat. It'll just be written after it. And similarly, at the end of a word, it will just be like that. If you were to write three alifs, one after the other, and let's assume they're from the same word, we would write it in the following way. So notice, this alif does not join to this, because the alif doesn't join to the letter after it. It can to the letter before it. So say there was a letter before it, it could join, but not after it. That's why we wrote the alifs separately. Okay, next letter. The ba. So the ba is written in the following way. You start from, not to the top, and then just go down, and up like that. Probably not, not that long, that's quite long, so probably just something like this. So once again, let's see how this letter is in the front of the word, in the middle and the end. So in the front of a word, it'll be written like that, and then there'll be a dot there. And it's not brought up to allow for the next letter. Now if it's in the middle of the word, so what we do is we just bring it up, and then do it like this and put the dot. And similarly, in the end, up and then it will be the complete because it's the last letter. Now if we were to write three of these in a row, assuming they're from the same word, how do you do it? Okay, that's quite straightforward. The next two letters, the ta and the tha, are very similar. The only difference is where the dots are put. So let's do this. Okay, the ta. So once again, it's written on top. That's two dots there. Now these two dots can be represented by the following. So if we do this again, we can do a line like this. Now this line, so I'll make it a bit longer, this line can represent these two dots. So just a shorthand way of, of writing it. So once again, in the beginning, we leave this for the next letter. In the middle, so there's a letter coming, and then put the tag there. And finally, ending. 
it comes and then once again the three tabs is very easy it's just one after the other now get to the fat it has the three dots now we can actually let's just do this now we can represent these three dots by the following it's like an upside down V and that's just a shorthand way of doing that sometimes you might find writing that if, especially for Arab rights you'll find that they use this shorthand way now let's get to the beginning of a word now it doesn't matter which uh, dot you put first um, you know there's no preference so that's the beginning then we have the middle so it's coming and then and finally the end and it's we'll, that's, that's similar it just finishes so it's um, you get the three dots there sorry that's not um, that good I'll just make it a bit better And writing the three thas um, together as if they were one word is as follows. Sorry, that I just today it should be three dots there. So that's quite straightforward. Okay, we have the gene now. So the gene is written in the following way. You start just above the line and you go across and then come down and then put the dot there so once again across come down and put the dot there this can go a bit further than here that's fine but don't bring it over here so don't stop stop the line up to here bring it more so either uh, parallel to the same length as this or a bit further down that's fine now Jim in the beginning of the word is as follows we start here go down and then come across and put a dot there and then the next letter comes after it so it joins to the next letter now when it comes to the middle of a letter so we have a letter coming before it then we have the gene and then across like that and there is the dot and coming at the end is a bit different so we have the letter what we do is we raise it up a bit and then write this form so we come across we start from here go across and then come down like that and then put the dot now if we want to write three genes in a row it's as follows first gene second gene and then third gene so and then we dot it another way of doing it and this is the shorthand way is what you do is go like this and like that and like that so that's three genes so you, and you just dot them now that's more advanced you'll find this form in the Quran script as a beginner this is probably the easiest way to do it the next two letters the ha and the ha are exactly the same as this the only difference is where the dot is so I'm gonna leave this on and what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna take off the dots and just put them in the place where they're supposed to be inshallah so here we have the letter ha the ha has no dot so everything that I told you about the gene is the same the way it's written all the different forms the only difference will be the dot is not there so let's just remove the dot of each one So that's the hat. 
Next we have the Kha. It's the same way. But the difference is where the dot is. Let me just show you where the dot is supposed to be. So in its isolated form, it goes on top here. Similarly here, it goes on top. And similarly here, it goes on top as well. Now we have the letter Dal, which is written in the following way. So you start from about here, you go down, and then come across like that. So it's like a nose. And even maybe a bit like that. Now, the Dal being used in the beginning. It's as follows. And the word that comes after it will not join to the dal. Like the alif, it's separated. Now with the medial form, there's a letter coming, and then what happens is there's the dal. And the dal is not joined to the next letter. And once again, in the end, it's the same way. So it's like that. So it can be joined from behind, but nothing can be joined after it. So if we wrote three dads one after the other in the same word, it would be as follows. Now with the dal, it's exactly the same as the dal with a dot on top. So each of them will have a dot. And we obviously write the dot after we write this part here. So dots will always be put after. Okay, next letter. So the Ra. Now, unlike the Dal, which is more closed, the Ra is open. So we start from about probably about here, and then go down like this. See how it's open, rather than closed, like the Dal. So that's how you write the Ra. Now the Ra in the beginning will be as follows. So what, like the Dal and the Dal, the Ra is also uh, not joined. And we'll find out the next letter as well, which is like the Ra with a dot, also is the same. It, it's not joined. So that's in the beginning. In the middle, it can join from behind. And then you just go like that. So notice here, it starts a bit on top there. But the Ra here can actually start from the line because of the previous letter. You can also bring it up slightly, like the following. That's fine to do as well. Just slightly. And once again, in the end of a word, it's the same. So if you wrote three of them in a row, it'd be as follows. Next letter is the Zay. Zay. And Zay is the same, except for the dot on top. Okay, next letter, the seen. So the seen is written as follows, in the isolated form. Once again. So when it comes in the beginning of a word, it's as follows. And then this joins on. In the middle, so there's a letter before it, and then... And at the end of a word, it's as follows. So there's a letter before it, and then... It's like this. So similar to the isolated forms. If we wrote three scenes in a row, how would it look like? Um, now, you know, see the, dis the distance between the scenes? It could be actually a bit shorter, so it doesn't have to be this long between the two scenes. And obviously it depends on your, on your script, so it doesn't really matter if it, how long it is. You can, it can actually be longer if you wanted to. That's up to you. Next letter, it's the sheen. 
The sheen is exactly the same. The only difference are the dots, which are put last. So we can write in the, exactly the same way, and then put the dots. So, just for shorthand, I'll do this. And then that, and that, and that. Now with dotting, the correct way is to write out the letters first, and then do the dotting. So you write out all these scenes first, and say you wanted to dot them and make a machine, then you start from the right hand, dot these, then dot these, and then dot these. And that's the way it's done with all letters. Letters first, dots second. Next letter is the side. Now with the side, it's a bit tricky. What you do is, is you start just below the line. And then you go up, and then bring it down like this, and then come, and then you do the loop. It's not that good, um, I'll, I'll do that again. So come down, and then that's probably a bit better. In the beginning of a word, how is the side? It's as follows. So you start from just below the line, and then go around like this, and then come like that. So it joins to the next letter. In the medial form, it comes from another letter. Then what you do is, you go a bit further, go down, and then come back up. And then go like that. And then the next letter is joined to that. And finally, the end form, which is as follows. So you have the letter, go a bit further down, go down, come like that, and then you do the, go down a bit. So it goes more down, similar to the isolated forms. Maybe this should go a bit further down like this. So that's how it's done. Now writing three sides as if they were in the same word is as follows. So it's the letters joined together. And we have the dad, which is exactly the same. The difference is the dot. So the dot is put just there. And we'll just do that. So that's the dad. So the dot is done in the following way. Is you start here. It's like that, and then down like this. So you curve, come down, and then the line. Once again, so in the beginning of a word, it's quite straightforward. You go around, come around, and then the top. And this connects to the next word. With the medial form, comes around. So what you do is, you come around, connect it up like this, and then do that. At the end of the word, so make sure that there's, it comes out. You don't want to do that. Let's write the thought one after the other. So it's one ta, two ta, and the three ta. So three ta's. So that's how three ta's are joined together. Now with the va, it's the same thing, except for the dot. So the dot is put there. That's incorrect anyway, so we'll just cross that out. And dot, dot, dot. Next we have the Ain. So the Ain is written as follows. You have the top part written on top of the line, and then the second part written below the line. So it's done in this way.
once again I should be a bit further down and once again so in the beginning it would be as follows and then waiting for the next layer to connect in the intermediate form it's a bit tricky and it's different to the actual isolated form it goes first of all so we have the previous letter we go a bit further then we go up across and then down so it's like an upside down triangle and then that connects to the next layer now in the final form it's similar to this what we do is so we have the previous letter and then to finish it off we go up across and then it's going to be similar to the last part so it's going to be down like this so let's draw the three ains one after the other so Next layer is the rain. It's exactly the same as the ain, except for the dot. So once again, we'll dot them all. And that's the rain. Next we have the fa. You start just above the line, and you do a small circle, and then come down and go across, and then up like this. Let's do this again. Now in the beginning of a word, it's as follows. And it connects to what comes next. In the medial form, you go across, so that's the previous letter, and then do a loop, and then come down. And that connects to the next letter as well, and then you put the dot. You do the dot at the end when you complete the word. Finally, at the end of the word. So it's exactly the same. It goes across, and then you loop, and then bring this up. So similar to the isolated form. Now three fa's. So you have the fa, and then loop, and then loop, and then bring it up. Dot, dot, dot. Next letter is the qaf. The qaf is a bit different to the fa, in that it starts off the same, but it goes down, and it goes like that. It's more rounded. And then you put the two dots. So once again, I'll do it. It's probably not, um, it should go further down. Once again, I'll do it. The front of the word it's similar to the fat. It goes like this. And then it connects on to the previous word. So it doesn't go down like the isolated form. And that's similar to the medial form. So the previous letter. And what you do is you just loop. And then connects to the next letter. Once you finish the writing all the letters, then you dot and you put the two dots or for example we can put a line to represent two dots and finally the end form so pr previous letter loop but when you loop it you go down and up like this and then put the two dots so writing three of these letters together is as follows And then you will just do the shorthand form. That's how you do it. So that's the two dots. Next layer. Okay, the calf. The calf is as follows. So you, all you do is just go down and then come across. You could, give, you could give it a bit of a, like that. You can make it rise a bit. And there's a S there. So once again, so you cannot 
you can do it without this coming up a bit. That's fine. And once again. Now this letter is a bit tricky because only the end form is similar to its isolated form. So in the beginning of a word is as follows. You, you start from top here, you go down, and then come across like this, and then go like this. And that's the calf. So you can think of it similar to this part here, but it's just being made bigger. Now, the medial form is as follows. Come across, previous letter, then come here, curved line that goes across to the next letter, finish the word, and then join it up like this. Now with the end, it's similar to the isolated form. So there's a previous letter. And then what you do is, you just come up, and then come across. And give it the, the. So writing these letters together is as follows. Go down, and then, okay. Then you'd come across like that and then come there and go like this and then come back and put that in so that's how it's done next letter is the lamb now that with the lamb it's similar to the calf and there's no s as you can see the small s but it's a bit different the way it's done is you start from about here you come down and then you come down past the line and then it goes back up so it's like that and you can cur um, curve it slightly so it's curved in slightly that should be curved in slightly in the initial form actually is as follows it's like the calf and then you're waiting for the next letter to join. And this letter joins on to the next letter. So lambs actually join on. Next we have the medial form. So it's that's the previous letter. Then up and across. And then the next letter joins to that. Now the final form is a bit different. It's similar to the isolated form. So you have previous letter. Come up. It goes further down and then it goes like that so the three letters being written together is as follows so this is the first lamb that's the second lamb and that's the third one it's a bit tricky there but inshallah it'll take practice okay next letter is the meme so to do this we start from about here, we come around, around like a loop, come around and then like that. So I'll do that again, come around and like that. So that's the way the meme is written in the isolated form. Now in the beginning of the word it's as follows, you start from about here and just go around and then come down waiting for the next letter in the medial form previous letter you come up and you go around and then come there and then go to the next letter and the final form is as follows go previous letter then you go up come around and then go down. Now there are other forms of this. You don't need to go that much down. So it could be just for example as follows. So to join three memes together is as follows. It's one, two, and then three. Okay, that's quite straightforward. Next letter, the noon. Now the noon is a bit different to the the ba 
the ta and the tha. In that, the isolated form, it doesn't stay on the line. It goes below the line. So let's say like this. So the beginning of the word is as follows. It's exactly the same as a ta, tha, and a ba, except for the dot is on top. In the medial form, it's the same. So you go up, and then you wait for the next letter. And in the final form, this is where it's different, is that you have the previous letter, and then it comes up, but then it goes more down. So it's similar to the isolated form. So to write three noons together is as follows. And then you dot them. And the next letter is the ha. And this is probably the most complicated letter to write. Now the isolated form is written in the following way. It's, it's like a circle, but it's more like that like an egg shape. I'll do it again. Now when it's written in the beginning of a word, it's as follows. You start off here, and what you do is, it's similar to this, but it's more rounded. So what you do is, you go down, and then come back up, and then when you reach here, you do another circle, but a smaller one. So you go down, and then come like that. So let me do this again. That's probably a better one there. Now the medial form is as follows. It's a bit different, and this is where it's a bit complicated. You start from the previous letter, and what you do is you go down, down, and you come back up, and then you come like this. I'll do this again. Come and like that. It will take some practice, but inshallah you will get there. Now, when it comes at the end of a word, it's as follows. If it joins on to the next letter, what you do is you just go up a bit, slightly, come down ever so slightly and then go around like this and do that. Now let's say that the second last letter was a letter that you can't join to the hat. Let's say it was a dad because a dad can't join to the next letter. So you'd actually put the isolated form. Now if we put three has one after the other how would it look? It would be as follows. We spoke about this form of ha in the middle of the word. Actually, we, there's another way of writing it, which is as follows. So you start off here, and you just go down like this, and come back up, and then go across. So instead of doing this, you can just do this, and that's a hat. Okay, next letter, the wow. The wow is quite simple. You start from about here, and just go like that. Once again, I'll do it. So it's, sorry. So, like that. So in the beginning of a word, it just does that, and that's it. And it, you can't join it to the next letter it's isolated from the next letter. Now in the medial form, this is the previous letter, what we do is you just come around and then do this. Next letter that comes after it will not join to it. And then the final form, if it's the final letter, it's the same. Just like that. So if we joined three vowels together, it'd be as follows. You probably guessed it already. It's just the isolated forms, 
one after the other. Now the final letter is the A. This is more complicated. Now the isolated form, as you can see, it's sort of like a duck shape. So you start from about here, come around, and then go back up, and then put the two dots. Do it again, and once again. There's no curve here, sorry, that's, it shouldn't be there. Um, that's, that's curved too much, so that's, but it's more like this. Now, this letter in the beginning is not in this particular way. It's actually similar to the, the ba, the ta, the tha, and the nun. It's like this. And then there's two dots. The medial form is the same. So, previous letter, and then you put the two dots. And finally, the end form. Now with the end form, it's a bit different. That's the previous letter. What you do is you go slightly up, and then do that. So if I join these together, it'd be as follows. Okay, so we finished the alphabet. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen.